Welcome to American Beer TV. We're still home brewing. Uh, we're making. Uh, do you want to tell them what we're making? Or do you yeah, want to we're making a, uh, a, a, ging a gingerbread yeah. porter. We're making or a, a gingerbread yeah. brown. We'll, well, uh, no, I think we're going with with, with, with a porter. We based on our malt bill. Yeah. It's going to be pretty dark. Um, we're doing uh, lots of spices that you would find in gingerbread. We're doing ginger and clove and nutmeg and stuff like that. Good spiced fall harvest ale so right hopefully that so, will come out good and so to inspire oh. us we've got kick <laughs> from new belgium brewing company and this is a beer that's 75 percent ale brewed with cranberry juice and pumpkin and 25 percent ale brewed in wooden barrels that's right. say oak barrels it says wooden barrels right so, so they have part of it in there this is their lips of face series yeah. we got our new belgian glasses here yeah and so, it's uh eight and a half percent yeah abv so uh this is uh this is what home brewing beer is all about. You know, you get to home brew, and while you're home brewing, you get some inspirational beers. Yeah, some along it. the lines of what you're what you're doing. If you're doing an IPA, get some good IPAs to get you in that mood and just kind of create it around there. So it's where you can stay focused, man. Exactly. Stay focused. Exactly. So beautiful take a look color. At it. Yeah, really Real orange. nice. Orange. Mm -hmm. Light it looks orange. Looks like a pumpkin ale. And, yeah. Uh, Lots little, of little uh, bit of foam on there, big uh, bubbles. Really white head, mm -hmm. but still from and the new Belgian glasses. If I wish you could see this, yeah, the, there's tons of carbonation coming up. There's tons of CO2 being Just released from out the of sand. solution. Yeah, because inside these new Belgian glasses, they etch their little their little uh, their little bike yeah. on the bottom of the glasses. At, so at right, right the out of the etching at the stem, yeah, the, Especially the CO2 when clean, falls yeah. out of solution. You right? want to make sure your glasses are beer clean yeah. so that they're not pulling off the side and it'll reduce that effect. Yeah. But Never clean like your little, glass with soap. That's a big note. Yeah, use uh, baking soda. That's That helps Lots a lot. Lots of water. Yeah. So so uh, let's get in the nose of this. Hmm. It's, it, we're get getting some, some sour. Getting some sour A funk. little bit. I get a lot of malty notes from this. Getting one. some notes, some, some some malt, some caramel. Some of the some like uh, like Munich malts and Vienna malts. Some of those like grassy kind of like Belgian German style malts. I yeah, from that. I'm getting some spicy, some spicy notes from kind of like along along the lines of the pumpkin. Kind of a creamy characteristic in the nose. Yeah, cream definitely comes through for sure. Yeah, and the head just keeps going. You swirl this around, mm -hmm. and it still has that pillowy white head. Yeah. Really small bubbles. That brings it right back, real nice. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, beautiful it's, it's, color it's, and a little tiny bit of chill haze. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. So, let's taste it. Very nice. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Wow. Nice level of carbonation. Very nice. Cranberry, definitely right in there. Very clean. This beer. Very clean. Very drinkable, very dangerous at 8.5%. Yes, you can sure. you can really drink this beer, even though it has fruit and stuff. It's not cloying at all. As a matter of fact, because of the of I think the brett or the bugs that are in the in the in the wood, um, it's really it's really quite dry, but it still has quite a mm -hmm. bit of fruity notes to it. And I would say the cranberry would comes through more than the pumpkin. But I think the thing, too, is I think a lot I of agree. people make pumpkin ales, and they put the pumpkin spice. Right. So the pumpkin not spice pumpkin. overpowers the pumpkin. So right. if they just put the pumpkin and let the sugars from the, the pumpkin flesh come right. through, then That might be that's part of that creaminess mm -hmm. that's in there. Yeah. Because um, I'm not getting any of that cinnamon and no, nutmeg or no, any of that. No. I get that kind of tartness from the mm -hmm. cranberry. Which is accentuated a little bit. I think I've noticed that with New Belgium and their Lips of Faith series that they've gonna they've done a good job by using some of the fruit juices mm -hmm. like they've used pear or some of those things. I think it adds really subtle complexity right. to their beer, where they're not you know where some of the beers are barrel aged or they're using Brettanomyces which are really tart or sour. They're getting some sour notes, but they're not way over right. the top. And they have so. they have a fruit essence to them. But their their right. beers are traditionally dry. I mean, I've had some some uh, beer fruit beers that are really sweet and cloying, and I don't like that. Or the other end of yeah. the spectrum is that you know it's so subtle that you can't tell that it has it in there at all. And again, I'm not a fan. What I this is like a really good example of what you can do and how you can uh, you know. I think a lot of people don't like a lot of craft beer drinkers 
look down at fruit beers because people use so much of the fruit to cover up mistakes in brewing yeah. or to make a, 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 a pedestrian and beer special. And they get special. really fruity and yeasty yeah. and things like and that. And it's just not yeah, so good. Not but when it's done right, like this beer is done right, you can really add a whole other level of complexity and flavor to your beer right. um, by using it. This is this has got the cranberry. It's got some tartness to it. It's got some fruit essence, but it's not it's not overly sweet. Yeah, it's one very thing drinkable. About this beer is as as it finishes in your palate, the wood comes mm -hmm. through really slight. Right. So it's yeah, just, just, a, just a another hint of, level of, yeah. of of oak right at, right mm -hmm. at the back of the palate. I'm getting that. I'm gonna say oak because this. I, th I think you'd be hard Most pressed to find yes. anything else. They use uh, pine. Plywood. They put it in a plywood box. <laughs> <laughs> the particle board. Particle board. <laughs> MDF. There's a little There's a little glue in there, too. Yeah. No. No, this is a great beer. Yeah. New Belgium. They did it again. For a brewery yep. that's out there making, you know, a half a million barrels of beer a year. And, you know, in, what, almost every state. In yeah, the serious. Union, then that's a beautiful thing. That yeah. They can come back. And make beers like this that just really kick ass. Definitely, so. definitely. Really Cheers, good guys. Cheers. Get out there and drink craft beer. Hooah.